Let's talk about physics. Yes, from cosmology and the universe to the quantum world of atoms and molecules. From Newton to Einstein with a lot of curiosity. Hello, I am Anya. Welcome to our show. Let's talk about physics. Hello, I am Matteo. Welcome to our show. Let's talk about physics. In the 11th episode of this series, let's talk about combining quantum mechanics with Einstein's special theory of relativity by using the grave de Peralta's equations. Like classical particles and non-relativistic quantum particles, relativistic quantum particles can be in common states with positive kinetic energy. In addition, relativistic quantum particles could be in exotic states with negative kinetic energy. Relativistic wave equations must have common and exotic solutions. For free quantum particles, there is a pair of Schrodinger-like but relativistic Grav de Peralta equations. One only has common solutions and coincides with the Schrodinger equation in the non-relativistic limit. The other Grave de Peralta equation only has exotic solutions with negative kinetic energy. Anya, I agree with you. In the realm of quantum physics, non-relativistic particles have a common wave. This wave emerges from solving the Schrodinger equation. Classical particles, however, don't have any associated wave. But when it comes to relativistic quantum particles, things get interesting. They have two waves, one common and one exotic. These waves are derived from Grave de Peralta's equations. Yet, the nature of these quantum waves remains a mystery. Dear Matteo, you are well informed. Most of the fascinating properties of quantum particles are related to the quantum wave associated with them. This is why classical particles do not have these properties. Quantum particles can be simultaneously in several states, can be entangled and teleported. Imagine a world where particles exist in multiple places at once. Entanglement means particles are connected no matter the distance. Teleportation isn't just sci-fi, it's a quantum reality. Anya, I agree with you. Classical particles don't have waves, but quantum particles do. There are two types of waves, common and exotic, in quantum particles. The fascinating properties of quantum particles come from common waves. Quantum antiparticles' properties are linked to exotic waves. Exotic solutions in wave equations hint at antimatter. Antimatter's existence supports Einstein's special relativity. You are correct, Matteo. Antimatter exists. Every day, antimatter particles are detected in particle accelerators. Yet, matter is far more abundant in nature than antimatter. The reason for this imbalance remains a mystery. Nevertheless, Professor Grave de Peralta has an intriguing hypothesis. Anya, you know a lot. Let's summarize our discussion today. In classical physics, particles don't have waves. But in quantum physics, non-relativistic particles share a common wave. This wave gives quantum particles their unique properties. That's why classical particles lack these fascinating traits. For relativistic quantum particles, there are two waves. One is common, the other exotic, linked to antimatter. These waves are solutions to Grave de Peralta's equations. They extend the Schrodinger equation to the relativistic realm. Understanding these waves unlocks the mysteries of quantum mechanics. Matteo, we should add a comment about vacuums. Wait, Anya. No so fast. We will talk about this stuff in future episodes of this series. This is enough for today. Ciao, Anya. I love you and we love our audience. See you in the next episode.